Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to stop or at least how to prevent as best you can your makeup from slipping into the lines and creases and all those irritating things on our faces that happen as our makeup kind of goes on throughout the day. First of all, before there is no miracle <clears throat> at all, so I think if you think that there isn't, there's no miracle, so don't worry about it. You know, makeup moves, our faces move, and you know, makeup's gonna go with it, unfortunately. There are things we can do to prevent it as best as possible, but makeup moves, and I think accepting that is a good way. The first thing you can do with regards to makeup moving is to use absolutely nothing on your face at all. The reason being, this works very well with waxy base cream foundations, because waxy base and creams, you don't if you don't set them, they sit on your face, they look gray, you're radiant, and a few hours you're oily or it starts to separate. You can always smooth them back in if you don't do anything else. You can always just go in and smooth it, particularly with wax base like um, MAC, MAQ Pro foundations, um, mud, to a certain extent their foundation and of course the Glorious Ket and MAC cream foundation, the full coverage one. You can just not set them and then just kind of move your finger across the wrinkles and creases and they'll smooth back in. You're gonna to have to do it all day long, but it is an option, it is an option. <clears throat> the next one to do is to use a primer. There are a few primers on the market. I've got a video on the world's best primer. It really is amazing and it's like cement for the face. You can click here to watch it, but it's a pain because it's got some irritating plant extracts in it that the sun doesn't like and a whole other things. Maybe it's good for the evening more than the day, but have a look, see what you think. But there are a lot of primers on the market that help to keep the makeup in place, to hold it in place more securely than it is without, and they are worth considering, definitely. Milk of Magnesia works great for those of you with really oily skin. Apply it to the face, Milk of Magnesia, and it will absorb oil. You just pop in your face, put your foundation over it, and you know it can make a little bit of a difference, definitely with oil control. The other thing you can do is to set your makeup with a setting spray. Um, Skinadavia do one, Skinadavia actually make one for Urban Decay, same thing. So there are loads on the market that you can use. These actually do help, they're like hairspray for the face and they will work. You can do more detailed applications. If you have creases in the side of your mouth that kind of crease up with makeup, you can apply some of the Skinadavia or the setting spray to a Q-tip and paint it onto the line or the crease first then go over it with your makeup and then spray your face with the setting spray. This will help. The same principle can be done under the eyes as I've done with a concealer tutorial. Um, information in the description bar, that will help as well. So you can kind of set it as well. Another good thing for under eye creasing, and because that's the most prevalent, is to use an under eye primer. The same primer that you would put on your eyelids, put underneath your eyes, do the makeup face, put your concealer on, set it with some powder, and that's about as best as you're gonna get. The other thing is to make sure if you're setting your powder to lock it in with a foundation sponge. The powder puffs press and roll on the skin like that makes a big, big, big difference. If you hate the powder look, they go over your face with a setting spray, returns it back to normal and you'll look completely healthy and normal again and non-powdered. And the sprays come in moisture or shiny or oily, so you can pick and choose the effect that you want to have on your skin. And those are the best tips that I know of and how to prevent at least how to stop your makeup creasing as much as the day goes on. Thanks for watching. If you have any other tips about this that you think work for you, write them in the comments bar. Always be nice, don't forget to rate, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, bye-bye.